Hello and welcome to the special broadcast, Mandate Assam 2021. I have with me Ms. Susmita Dev, former Congress MP, senior Congress leader, All India President of the Mahila Congress, currently an extremely busy person campaigning for the Congress, not just in the Barak Valley, but across Assam. Ms. Susmita Dev, welcome to Notice Live. Thank you, Vasbi Ji. It's a, it's a pleasure to be talking to you. Welcome. Pleasure is mine. Uh, quite a tug of war in Assam this time between the BJP and its allies and the Congress led Mahajot. How do you see the fight going? I think um, it's a very interesting fight. And uh, I think in the last three months, uh, what has emerged is a clear perception which is turning into a belief that uh, Mahajot is going to form the government. And I think we are fighting very hard. I don't want to be overconfident, but I am quite confident that we are forming the government. Right. Now, how is the contest going to be in the 15 Barak Valley uh, seats? You know, you were upset that the Congress had to leave a lot of seats for your ally, AIUDF. You see, it's my, it's my duty uh, to uh, try and keep as much as my as much of my territory as I can uh, within uh, the Congress, I think that's my duty to the Barak Valley Congress organizations, and I uh, try to fulfil that duty. But uh, anyway, High Command uh, took certain decisions, and I always uh, uh, stand with the High Command. But we have given uh, five seats to AUDF, and we have got ten seats in the Congress. And I think the way the tickets have been given, right. we are giving a very, very um, tough fight to the BJP. BJP with its government in the centre, its government in Assam, and absolutely unlimited resources, as you know, never expected that Congress would able to give be would be able to turn it into such a great fight. And I think we are improving by the day. That's what our internal surveys say. Okay, uh, as far as your national leaders go, uh, Ms. Susmita Dev, we can only see Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi, camp Gandhi campaigning in Assam, except, of course, people like the Chhattisgarh Chief Minister, Mr. Bagel. What does this mean? Well, as far as I know, there's going to be, uh, we are asking Tejasvi ji to come, we are asking Sachin Pilot ji to come, and I think, I mean, I can't say what's happening in Upper Assam, but they're due to confirm it to me by tonight, and uh, I'm sure they'll be coming. You know, the BJP has said that it would implement the Citizenship Amendment Act in West Bengal the moment it comes to power there. What does it mean for Assam? I'll tell you something. CAA is a political tool for the BJP. They use it as and when they like, and selectively, sometimes in West Bengal, uh, and they keep mum about it in Assam. So it has become crystal clear that Bharatiya Janta Party is using CAA for vote bank politics, nothing else. It's nothing but a political weapon. It has divided Assam, the people of Assam. It is trying to divide the people of West Bengal on lines of caste, community, language, religion. That's all the CAA is. And I don't think the BJP is going to succeed this time because they stand exposed. Now in Upper Assam, they don't talk about CAA. Prime Minister came to Barak Valley. He took all the Hindu Bengali votes that he got on the grounds of CAA in Barak Valley. Now he's quiet on it in Barak Valley. So it is like a total double-faced uh, stand that the BJP has taken on CAA. You see, both the Congress and the BJP, they have set their eyes on the tea garden voters. Uh, we, are, we are just awaiting the first phase of the elections where about 10 lakh tea garden uh, community voters are there. The BJP is asking why couldn't the Congress increase the ways of tea workers despite ruling Assam for 15 years at a stretch and several years before that. You see, you generally ask questions to the people who are running the government. BJP is asking us the questions and we are in the opposition. Anyway, be that as it may, I would like to tell the Bharatiya Janata Party, it is not about what Congress did 50, in 15 years of governance. For the last five years, Bharatiya Janata Party 
had promised to make the daily wages 351 and they haven't done it till today. That's the question the tea garden is asking. We are going to give, make it at 365 rupees per day and we will do it within a month's time. So I request my uh, uh, senior Congress, uh, senior BJP leaders, you are in the government. So please stop asking us questions about what we did, uh, did do or didn't do in 15 years. The question is, you have done zero things for the people of Assam in the last five years. You have betrayed the people of Assam. You see, the Congress is accusing the BJP of, of polarizing the society. Uh, but your ally, Badruddin Ajmal, is also accused of the same thing, polarizing the society. He said madrasas in Assam will be reopened the moment the Mahajot comes to power. Uh, that must have put the Congress in a bit of a spot. You see, there is so much of focus on the Mahajot and our alliance partners. I, I think that it is very simple. Bharatiya Janta Party in Assam has no answers to unemployment, has no answers to their corruption and syndicate raj that is going on, especially in Parag Valley. They have no answer to 90% of their manifesto has not been fulfilled. Because they don't have the answers to the real issues of the people, only thing they talk about is our alliance. And let me remind the people of Assam, it is the BJP who tied up with Mehbooba Mufti ji in Kashmir. We never commented on it. So they can't right. have one set of rules for Jammu and Kashmir and another set of rules for Assam. BJP's only weapon is polarization because they've decimated the economy of Assam and they think that 830 rupees in people's bank accounts is going to get them votes when diesel petrol is at 100 plus. I mean, that's, that's being conceited and arrogant about and taking the people of Assam for granted. Uh, Ms. Susmita Dev, you are a very senior political leader of the state. Uh, I just want to ask you, you know, many are saying that the BJP would not have got the stick to beat the Congress so severely this time had your party not aligned with the AIUDF. It is only because the AIUDF is your ally that the Congress is uh, being pushed to the wall or pushed to the corner by, the, by, your, yeah, by your main opponent, that is the BJP. Let me tell you, the BJP is scared of the alliance. They are totally focused on the alliance because they know it's hurt the BJP. It has hurt the BJP. And it is not an alliance with one party. We have many other parties. We have the left parties. We have many other smaller parties in Upper Assam. Why is the BJP focused on that one party? Because they know they are losing. And they don't know what to do about it. The nature and content of their speeches I'm hearing whether it's their senior ministers, I mean, it is atrocious. It has never happened in the politics of Assam, the kind of communal speeches BJP is giving. If there's any communal party in Assam, it is the Bharatiya Janta Party. So it is very strange that the most communal party is talking about another party who is communal. I mean, BJP is a communal party, the entire India knows that. So one communal party calling another party communal it's very strange and I think it's laughable. Uh, many would like to know, was the Congress not confident to go it alone? Or do you think the BJP was too strong to be dealt with single-handedly? Vasbi ji, you're one of the most intelligent journalists and I'm a big admirer of yours. And you know very well that the BJP is also an alliance. So if you are asked, if you think going into an alliance is a weakness, both are in alliance. So BJP is also scared of fighting without alliance, that means. So why all the focus for our alliance? Bharti Chatta Party is in alliance. They fought the Bodoland elections in alliance, didn't they? They are in alliance with AGP, aren't they? So they are also in alliance. Are they scared of losing? Can't they go alone after supposedly giving the people of Assam good governance? Why didn't they have the wherewithal and the courage to go alone in this election because they are not confident. Uh, I will not take much of your time, just to two more questions. Uh, what are the key issues with which you are approaching voters in the Barak Valley? Because these 15 seats are important in the overall state context. The single largest issue in Barak Valley is unemployment. The Honorable MP of Silchar, Dr. Rajdeep Rai, was asked that why do children of Barak Valley don't get third grade and fourth grade job? 
He gave an answer to say that they are not capable of doing a PM's job. So the biggest issue is unemployment, especially with the paper mill which has been shut down and thousands of people have lost jobs. One single key issue is unemployment and we are going to solve that with 25 lakh jobs in the private sector and an additional 5 lakh jobs in the government sector. And that is the issue and believe me, Basbi ji, believe me, we had a program, Jitendra Singh ji had come. It has picked up hugely amongst the young people. They are registering lock, stock and barrel with our, uh, you know, on our website for the job. Today, everybody has suffered due to the abrupt lockdown, note ban. People are fed up, business is finished. So, Rose Guard is our main flag. Now you see, it is after a long time that the Congress uh, in Assam has managed to put up an alliance. My question to you, do you miss do you miss an aggressive leader acceptable throughout the state? You see, the difference between Congress and the BJP is, BJP has two chief ministers. One who is actually sitting on the chair and the other who is not got the chair and I don't know if he's ever going to get it. So, in Congress, when you look at every campaign of ours, it's collective leadership. Who will be our chief minister, we will decide after the election. But we have a plethora of dynamic leaders coming from different castes and community. There's Gaurav Gogoi, Kodot Bordoloi, there is the Ripun Boraji, Abdul Khalik, Saikya Ji, me. You know, so there are uh, different community leaders in Congress. In BJP, it's a duopoly. There is one Sonawal Ji and one Dr. Sharma. There is third person doesn't matter in the BJP. It is simple. And Assam is being run on the diktats of Delhi and Nagpur. And people of Assam understand that. We do not believe in concentration of power in one or two hands. That is not the Congress culture. So it's a collective leadership. And we have unanimously decided that after we form government, we will decide by discussing it with our uh, MLAs and High command that who will be our chief minister and believe me, we have many dynamic faces, but we are all unitedly working towards forming the government. Now, now, Ms. Susmita Dev, do you think the Congress strategy of campaigning with the five guarantees, do you think that is going to make a difference in the selections? You see, Prime Minister Modi has to use the word guarantee now. JP Nadda is using the word guarantee now. Hemant Vishwa Sharma is using the word guarantee now because. That guarantee has got into the minds of people and they believe us. And it's beginning to bother the BJP and that's the truth. Every speech of theirs is about our guarantees. And we have we had to use this word guarantee because people of Assam have been betrayed by this government. And we wanted them to believe that we have the conviction, we have the will and we have every intention of fulfilling these promises and we will. That's why the word guarantee and clearly BJP's rattled with our campaign. Uh, my my pre-final question to you, uh, you know, BJP has unleashed its star power on Assam, led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He has come, I don't know how many times, uh, you know, led by Amit Shah, then the party president. Do you think any party will be able to match the campaign momentum or the campaign tempo? Uh, is that, does that put you in a little bit of a difficulty? Please, Vasbeet ji, I went to one meeting yesterday and people were telling me, do you know how they're getting people to Narendra Modi ji's meeting and Nadda ji's meeting? People are saying, I am not saying. They told me, they are telling the people, if you don't go to Modi ji's meeting, we'll cut your 830 rupees or whatever. So people are going to these meetings. That means spontaneous people are not going to be meeting. And our model is different. We got onto a bus, said, let's save Assam and we went to the people. And you know that campaign was very good. We reached out to thousands and lakhs of people. We covered 12,000. They are coming and giving one-way speech to people, to crowds that are contrived. These are not people who are coming to the BJP meetings because they love the BJP. It's about money. It's about resources. It's about fear politics. That's what's happening. Finally, Ms. Susmita Dev, what is your prediction? What is going to happen on May the 2nd? 
Well, I can tell you with complete confidence that our internal surveys are showing 101 seats and Vasvi ji, we promise you we'll come back to power and we will give you complete freedom in the media and to the people of the state which is constitutionally your right. We will bring Assam back to good governance and freedom and inclusive politics. I assure you that. Right. Mr. Susmita Dev, thank you very much indeed for speak to, speaking to me on Naughty's Live. You were in the middle of your campaign. You took time thank out. You. Thank you very much and wish you all the Thanks. best.